Hello everyone. So earlier this week I came up with a script based on some extensive googling and trial and error um, to help me save some time in my storyboarding process in Maya. So basically what it does is insert a blank frame in the middle of an animation. Um, now obviously frames can't be entirely blank so what it does is it duplicates the existing keyframes on a frame. And basically it essentially makes two identical frames. Um, that'll make more sense once I explain it here. So this is a storyboard I'm working on for a project. Um, and as an example say that you know between frame um, 9 and 10 I don't like how much this camera moves. The camera move is too big. And previously, in order to insert an intermediate frame between those two things, I would have had to select all of my objects, um, select the hierarchy, be sure everything is selected here. I would have had to keyframe all of my objects on this frame, select everything here, and manually move it over one frame, set another keyframe, then I could add my um, add my new camera movement between frame 9 and 10. So now with this script I can just go to frame 9 and say alright I want to insert a new frame here hit the button which is not working syntax error Ah, that's why. I'm an idiot. Okay. Um, Alright. Hit the button there. And you'll see here what it did was insert, it duplicated all of the keyframes on this one frame. So now essentially there are, if I move back and forth here, there are two frame nines. For 9, 10, and then it resumes with the animation. And all of these keyframes to the right got shifted over, so I don't actually lose any of the animation. Nothing gets overwritten. So, I undo that. There we go. Okay. The way it works, if I open up my script editor here, I'm just going to copy this so I can demonstrate. The first line is to select all of the curve objects in my scene. And if I show all my objects here, these are the curve or the anim curve objects. Uh, these are what drive the animation of all of the objects in Maya. They store keyframe data. So, yeah, it looks like this. And so this line, if I run this line, is going to select all of these objects. Then the next line selects all of the keyframes within those objects. Then at, it's going to set a keyframe for all of these objects at the current time slider. Where this time needle is, it's going to set a keyframe for all of the selected parameters. Right there, you see all that new data pop up. And to be honest, I don't know if these first two lines are 100% um, necessary. Maybe you can just get by with just selecting the curves and then setting keyframes. I just put in both to be safe. Then this next command is what really drives this. It's going to insert a frame at frame 9 and slide all of the rest of this data to the right, one, uh, one frame farther down. So you'll see it inserts a frame here. Now the problem with this is that it starts interpolating between the two frames. Like it, it stretched out the data between frame 8 and 9 because now frame 9 is on frame 10, if that makes sense. So to prevent that, 
I'm going to move the time slider forward one frame and then the script deselects all of the keys so we're not select, haven't selected anything anymore and then we're going to select the, all of the keyframes on the current time right here next line we're going to copy all of them then we're going to move backward in time once again then we're going to paste them and what this does is uh, duplicates frame 10 now back onto frame 9 so 9 is it preserves the way that frame 9 is originally so now yeah everything is back the way it was we're, we just have duplicated frame 9 and pushed everything to the right and then we have um, back here I'm going to set all of the tangents to automatic on frame 9 and prevents it can prevent doesn't always work properly but it can prevent these weird um, curves here I would have to do the same thing on frame 10 in order for it to work properly but anyway you get the idea and then I'm going to advance one frame forward again so that after I run this script I can immediately start making changes in the scene and continue working with my animation so once again say this between frame 9 and 10 I don't like how big this camera move is so I want to say alright I want to duplicate frame 9 so I just click my insert button duplicates it. Now I'm back on frame 10 here. I can say, oh, I want my camera to be here. And now that move is smoother. And if, say, I want uh, the, the move between these two frames is still too drastic. Insert, zoom in a little bit, adjust it, and now I have smoother motion. And uh, do if anybody, if there are malgoovers out there who know a more efficient way of doing this, um, please do tell me. Maybe there's a better way of doing it that doesn't involve the time slider moving back and forth. It can get kind of slow, as you saw with um, when you have lots of objects and lots of keyframes in your scene. Hope that was helpful, and I will see you next time.